Good evening, I'm Adam Pinsker. Here are your top stories for tonight. Attorneys for a Monroe County man sued for allegedly violating zoning ordinances or trying to get the case thrown out. The county sued Joe Huff in March after he began logging on his property near Lake Monroe. Huff's attorneys claim the county's attorney, David Schilling, never told Huff he needed a land use certificate or drainage control plan in order to continue the excavation. Gatehouse, the company that owns the Bloomington Herald Times and nine other southern Indiana newspapers, is buying newspaper giant Gannett. The deal is worth about $1.5 billion. I think it's fair to say that a lot of people would be pretty concerned about the effect of this on diversity of voices, quality of coverage, numbers of folks in newsrooms, that kind of stuff. The, the Gatehouse Gannett deal is expected to save the combined company $300 million. The Monroe County Alcoholic Beverage Board approved a permit for Upland Brewery to be the vendor for beer and wine sales at Indiana University football games this season. Despite the approval, board members are worried about alcohol getting into the hands of minors after being legally purchased. It could potentially happen. I'm not going to stand here and say it won't. It's just it's, it's human nature. But I think the, uh, the number of eyes that we have on these processes, I think, are going to minimize that possibility. Servers will undergo extensive training and purchases will be limited to two beverages per person. Weather forecast for the rest of tonight will see a low of 67. And as the second day of back to school dawns upon us, we'll see a high of 89 tomorrow. Sunny, and a little cooler on Friday, high of 84. Have a great night.